Hi, please find description for online training on other interesting stuff in our description column. In this tutorial, we are going to see about Read GPC information the service ID 90. Yes, this service ID and this service is one of the very important and necessary services than other service because in every project this service should be present. So, for example, if you consider the services like control DPC settings or um, you know some other services like RAS services, read memory by address, write memory by address. Those are all the services which is not mandatory in all the projects. But this 19 service is mandatory in all the projects. So that's what we are going to see. In this uh, tutorial, I just gave as much as compacted one. That is the, it's, it's a kind of miniaturized version of 19 service. So you, you cannot uh, find more words. But the what are the words are here and what are the tutorial contents is delivering is very important and key point of the service read 19 yes this service so we'll we'll uh, get back to the tutorial in this service it is used to know about the testers can understand and uh, load the dtcs and its related information for his reference so that is what this service primarily for in other words we can easily say this service will bring you what are the faults present in the EC not only faults and the other information which is related to the fault if so what are the information yes we can see in the upcoming slide before that another description in this service we can read the DTC information of not only one and also more than one server which includes emission as well as non emission related information now we'll quickly see how the request and response frame of this service the request frame is 19 and sub function with the status masked by the response as the 59 then sub function with other parameters that we are going to see yes so as we discussed in the previous slide using this service we can retrieve a kind of a lot of information so what are the kind of information we can retrieve yes yeah this is the first information not first information this is one of the information can read most recent fault can read the first fault can read the number of faults present then can read the list of all faults present in the ecu can read mirror memory faults can read the number of mirror memory faults and moreover what is mirror memory fault that we'll discuss in another tutorial so as of now you just understand the read 19 uh, service uh, service id 19 or the read read this information can read the mirror memory fault and so on so sub function now we are uh, we can get into the sub function these are all the four sub function i'm going to discuss here actually in read this information we have 18 sub functions so in one tutorial it is not possible to cover all the 18 so i'm just splitting the priority wise so in this tutorial i'm giving you four sub function and in the another tutorial i'll try to cover at least eight to ten sub functions and in third or fourth tutorial i'll complete the entire read dtc information in our next three consecutive tutorial will be on read dtc information to wind up the flow and not to distract with any other topic yes so now we have, we have the sub function 0 1 yeah so the sub function 0 1 is report number of dtcs so we can literally mean the the title itself report number of dtcs present what are the uh, fault present in the ecu so that means how many faults present we can retrieve the number for example if you have four faults in the ecu then we can request the response will be the output expected response will be the 0 4 that means we have four faults so that is what, the, what this sub function literally means in this sub function we can retrieve that 0 1 as a input and the uh, output can be kind of uh, number of faults present then we can see this request and response explanation here see the request as 1901 and xx xx is nothing but dtc status mask so what is status mask it's, it's uh, simple 
again you can uh, come to know with this little english menu so what are the dtc present for the dtc with a number which acts as a mask and it is give it is giving as a request that is a dtc mask that we are giving the uh, mask to the dtc to be ecu that to please give me the information regarding the dtc yeah and 19 and 59 is a sub function sorry service id 01 is a sub function as we i guess you all know aware of what is service id what is service what is sub function so i'm not giving you any introduction or any talk about the sub function or service id if you are not aware you can please go back to the previous tutorial and you can come back again then in our response the first xx indicates dtc status mask availability so it is giving the dtc status mask availability so what are the requests you are sending for that acknowledgement the response you are getting as dtc status mask availability then yy is dtc format identifier this is a this is this one is a id for the dtc because all dtc have some id so in the same way then zz zz is a dtc count it means if you have four fault here you will get the numeric as 0004 then this this ends the first sub function i guess you are somewhat aware and you might get at least one percent of idea about how and what is this sub function means the next sub function is 02 that is record dtc so the previous sub function is number of dtc and this is the dtc that is in the previous sub function it gave only the number but in this sub function it will give the name of the dtc yes this sub function is used to read the list of all dtc present in the ecu not one or two how many what are the EC, what are the dtc's present everything you will get in case if you are trying to read with no fault then you will not get any response in the DTC column. Yeah, I'll explain here. See, so 1902 and XX is a DTC status mask. Then 1959 is a service ID that you know, and 02 is a sub function. And here, 5902 XX YYYYZZ is a response. So, here, what is double X? This is DTC status mask availability. Then, what is double y double y it is just a dtc that is the name of the dtc name of the dtc means for for every dtc for every name of the fault there would be some dtc's that dtc you are getting here then that is actually what is a two byte value so that's what double y double y for uh, uh, high enable low enable again high enable low enable then double z is a dtc status so a dtc status means so whether the dtc present now or it is a previous cycle and a current cycle in that sense you, are, you can mean the dtc status yeah you can again you can it is a simple little english word right dtc status what is the status of the dtc whether it is present or not or either it is present in the previous cycle or not then next sub function this one is 0f this is report mirror memory dtc yes so before entering here what is mirror memory dtc that I'll give you in another video, but for this time's sake, I'm telling you in a very short. See, um, for example, if you are uh, reading some fault, then if you are uh, clearing that fault using uh, service clear DTC information, but again, if you try to read the fault, you will not find the fault. The, but all the fault have been showed in the mirror memory DTC. You, by using this request, you can read those faults. That is what mirror memory DTC. This sub function is to read the list of all memory DTCs present in the ECU by using the sub function 0f. Now I think you are somewhat familiar with this. Yes, so I'm skipping. Yeah. Again, WX is a DTC status mask availability. Then WI is a mirror memory DTC. Then ZZ is a DTC status. So I guess the 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 Previous service and this service is more or less same. Only difference is this is mirror memory DTC. That means this is a duplicate DTC. That is the original DTC. That's it. For that only, I have mentioned the four service in a sequence. In the next service also is literally interconnected with the four sub function. Yeah. So sub function double one. That is eleven hex. Everything is hex. I'm not mentioning here. 
and uh, text but everything is a hexadecimal mark so report number of memory dts this sub function is used to read the number of mirror memory dts is present in the pc so it, it, in this it will literally give only the numbers so how the zero funds zero one sub function gave you the number of dtc present like that in the same way here it, it will give you the number of mirror memory dtc so the difference between the normal dtc and the mirror memory dtc is very simple that one is the original and this is like a saved one for the future reference then 19w1 double x that is this is a dt is used status mask as a sub function double one then double x is a is status mask then yeah, here we made a mistake so it's not zero one as a sub function so 11 as a sub function then again double x is a dtc status mask availability then double y is a dtc format identifier then double z double z the dtc count yeah so this in this this is not a normal dtc count this is a mirror memory dtc count so this this tutorial will be continued for a remaining 14 sub function uh, please find the description for more and share and subscribe for more videos goodbye catch you in next video